That right there is a windmill, and I'm Brian B. Barrett with Bar YU, and I'm here with Professor Clower. Today it's about windmills. We're going to be looking at a windmill, maybe repairing it, fixing it. I don't know. I never know. Okay, Barry, uh, I'm looking at a windmill, and it's humming pretty good because... Yep. Uh, yeah, 30 feet up in the air, there's a good breeze Absolutely. happening, and there's a good breeze down here. Yeah. What's the deal? Well, the uh, man here asked me to come and check on uh, on this windmill. He's uh, had a lot of grass, uh, it was kind of causing a fire hazard because it was turning uh, on us and uh, just just needed something up here to graze the grass down. And so I put some horses up here, some young horses to, yeah. to graze. The key to that is, is they have to uh, be able to have water. Now he right. has water set up here on this place to come into a, a a faucet that runs into the bottom of the tub, and it has a float, a natural float on it, and so. But we run this windmill at least two or three days a week, keep right. the water going, right. keep everything working, and uh, and I'll come and I'll turn it on if the wind. We got a pretty good breeze. I like to turn that thing on and let it run and and seat the 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 leathers that's in there. And the those are, that would be like the rubber gaskets, oh, okay. per se, but we call them leathers because they, they call are them actually leathers? made out of leather. And you got gaskets a, made out of leather? Yes, yes. They're kind of a leather rubber combination. Why leather? And, uh, well, they, didn't, they don't hang up as bad. If, the, if rubber gets dried out, it can scar, okay? The leathers just keep going until okay. they wear okay. out. The leather will uh, work. And when it gets wet, they swell up. When it dries, they, they shrink up just a little bit. And sure. So, okay. so that that's why they call them leathers. And dude, there's a check valve or check ball in there, and that's what we'll be listening to when you hear that sound, kind of a rattling, just a very light rattling sound. Uh, you will be able to have that uh, ball. It rattles as it goes down, okay. And okay. then when it comes up, it doesn't rattle. It's pulling, okay. The bottom, sure. the bottom check, which is sitting on the bottom of the tube, in the pipe it has that ball that rattles just lightly. I see. It doesn't rattle quite as much. And so as, as it goes down, the ball opens up and lets the water up Pull above up. the leathers. Pulls okay. okay. And then when it hits the bottom, the ball seats the hole, seats up, and then it pulls the water up. And that's the constant up and down of the windmill and that sound right. you're listening for. So when I turn that on and I hear that first, first pull of the windmill and it rattling, then I know it's got water in it. Gotcha. Now, if it's not, and it, it, it makes like an air blowing sound, sure. then you know you have a problem. Your bottom check or bottom leathers have let the water leak back out of the pipe, and it's not drawing a little bit. Okay. And so uh, we'll just kind of check on some of those things today. And uh, it's right. running right now. We've got a good breeze, and that's why we come up here to kind of check on our horses and make sure they've got some water, make sure the windmill's working. Barry, how often do you have to come up here and check the windmill? I usually come check these horses about every other day, and uh, and the reason being, if if one of these horses get cut, you know, some people check them every day, and that's fine if you do that too. But if something happened to one of these horses within 24 hours, I'm here, I can see the problem, and so uh, and with that, with that, the big factor is there is a little dirt tank over here that these horses can get water at, but it's dry. And so what we have talked about doing here, we're gonna dig a small tank just down from this windmill and then allow our overflow to come out of the, the drinking tub that we have, drinking tank, and go into the dirt tank. And so uh -huh. this tank here, we have it set up to where it can run off of, of our co-op or city type water, county okay. water. Yeah. And it is plumbed through that, that little black box there, just like a water box in, in, in town, you know, that you have out at the water meter. Um, and it is wired, it is plumbed to the, to the ball that we have set up in the tank. That is on a line, that, there's a line that goes down to a valve. And so when that thing is full, it shuts it off. Shuts it off. And when they drink gotcha. it down, the ball goes down, the, the float opens up, and then that allows the city water to come in. Now, if we have problem with our city water, we've had it freeze before, we've had problems with that, we can shut that off manually through the water box and turn the windmill on alone and then the windmill can pump. So either way there's a steady supply of water for exactly. them all the time. Exactly. Ha. So if electricity goes down we have 
the air, we have the wind. You got the wind. And so that's uh, that's something that that uh, heck, man, we've been green a long time before they come up with being green, so we don't have to worry <laughs> yeah. about that. I don't know if you can notice the water. It 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 surges big and then it lets down a little bit. Yeah, it's got more volume yes. when I hear that sound. Okay. Right there. Right there. That's the bottom check ball, okay, rattling that, that make, that's making that louder noise. Hmm. There's a ball in the bottom check, which that stops the water from going back out. When the top check catches and pulls the water up, you hear the top check stops rattling and the bottom one opens up. Opens up. And so that, and so when you hear that, and, and see that and everything's pumping, everything's pumping correct on this. Yeah. Okay, if there's air, uh, a lot more air coming out than water, that means that we're losing ground, we're losing water and it's sucking air. And so we would, may possibly have to go in there and lower the pipe because the, the, uh, the well itself, the water in the well may be, Could be subsiding, yeah, yeah, yeah going yeah. down. Uh, and then sometimes after large rains, it'll come up a little more, that's not a problem. But what we have to do, we would have to, which we usually pull our own windmills and do our own work on a small one. Uh, a large one, we have a actual windmill rig. There's people that windmill for a living. They come in and pull the pipe, pull the rods and, and fix that for you. Hmm. Uh, but on a smaller type ranch, we try to do as much as we possibly can ourselves. Yeah, sure. And, uh, but, but just turning that thing on and letting it run, uh, on a weekly basis, uh, that make that keeps everything kind of in check, so to speak. And, makes uh, sense. You bet. Now, we're starting to lose a little bit of wind, so of course the water's going to quit on us. Uh, and then we're we're seeing there's still a steady stream, so that yeah. means that our our water is being held right up here at the top, and so it's it's actually going on up. It's pumping. Up the pipes. Yeah, much. that's over a two inch line. Okay, coming up from the well, mm -hmm. okay? That's uh, right at a one inch or a little less line coming out. So there's water going up past, see? Right. Past it and then it'll drain back down. So even when that shuts off, uh, see if you can look up there at the top, see that pipe is wet yes. as it goes back in. Okay, and it yeah. just, you see the pump right rod, there. Right. it's wet. There's water all the way up that pipe. Sure. Yeah, it's right at the top of okay. the pipe. If you put a bigger uh, pipe here at the end, of course, that would let more water out. And that, that level would drop. That on level would sure. drop on down. Uh, so some, is that by design? You want a smaller pipe here and not the same size pipe? Or does it, it depends on the, the flow? Totally depends on the flow and how many animals you're trying to water. Right. Uh, a lot of these, they just put them up for looks. Uh, but <laughs> no joke, I yeah. mean, they will. Yeah. They'll, they'll just put them up for, for uh, for the the scenic of it, and it won't nostalgia. even have a well there. Nostalgia, you know? yeah. But this this well particularly, uh, on this small of a well, and it doesn't, it's not real deep. Uh, it doesn't have to work real hard. Probably once a year, probably once every 12 months, you could pull that, you could pull that um, that well and check those leathers and see what kind of wear you've got on them just for safety purposes. You say once purposes. a month or once a once year? Once a year. Once, once a year. year. Yes. Check the leathers. Yes, check the leathers. Now, we've had windmills in the past on a couple of ranches I took care of. We always wrote it down. We would write down, hey, we did uh, we did a pipe change or, or we did a uh, we our new checks and new leathers, uh, let's say, on March 1st. Right. And then we had to go back in and do it six months later. We write that down. And then next thing you know, we start seeing a trend of about every five to six months, we're having trouble. Heck, we'll just go out there and pull the thing. Uh, because what happens is if the leathers get completely wore out, then you get a brass check rubbing against a it's brass your, cylinder. Right. And then your cylinder gets worn. Right. The, there's a cylinder that's made out of brass at the end of this, this uh, galvanized pipe. Okay, and that's what your that's what your check valves actually operate in within that that air right yeah. there, and so depending on the length, the stroke of the windmill, and the length of that cylinder, is how much wear you're going to get. Gotcha. And so that's uh, in which this is, I believe, about a ten foot mill, uh, meaning that that from bottom of the fan to top of the fan is ten foot. I didn't mind working on a ten foot mill eight foot six foot on down uh about six foot was about the smallest we had to work on because when you get up there on that platform 
you can stand there and you're about eye level with half the windmill. Right. You know, I'm, I'm 5'10". So I can stand there at half the windmill and, and look over into the box and see the gears, put oil in it, fix anything that needs to be fixed. And so uh, when you get into the 12 and 14 foot windmills, that's more than you can reach, okay? Right, so, so how do they fix those? That's more than you, oh, you still had to fix them, but you've got that thing shut off. You sit down on the, 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 the fan, on the wing out there, on the tail. <laughs> on the blade. On, got it? On, on, okay, yes, on the rudder on, as it On were. the rudder, yes, yeah. on the tail fin out there. And you sitting on that tail, looking over in that box, working on it. And uh, so, uh, there's uh, a, there's are there a, certain designers that make a, a better uh, tail fin that's more sturdy than others? No, I'd, no, I'd want to work on that model. That's the model you'd want to work on in those right there. That's about as good as it gets. <laughs> You bet. That's about as good as it gets. Wow. But, uh, two, two things you really need to know if you're going to climb up, especially on an old wooden tire. You really need to know what you're doing up there and take the right parts and right tools with you. That, that way you really need to know what you're doing. And I really feel like you need to know Jesus because at any time you could lose your tool or yeah. your life coming off of that. You know, I said earlier <laughs> to you, I don't know if we've got this or not, but I said, yeah, it looks like it's a pretty sturdy structure. You ever been up top? You went, nope. <laughs> nope, <laughs> not going. But as we're so. close, I'm giving a, a look at this, yeah. and, and that looks like some pretty uh, sturdy yeah. old oak. Oh yeah, it is. It's sturdy, it's, it's But a it's good, been in the weather for a long, good windmill. long, long time. Very long time. Uh, the ladder, if you will notice, uh, the ladder is really probably uh, not the best ladder you'd want to try to go up. <laughs> no, it's and not. So, exactly. <laughs> if you can you see that? Come around can here. Can you see and look that fourth this. rung? Yeah. What's yeah, left of it? It's not there. And <laughs> so <laughs> it's just nails. So yeah, if you want to go up there and kind of check it out, I'm really seeing all I need to know. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Looks, looks really yep. pretty good. That's uh, case yeah. closed here. Yes, sir. -y. All right. Yeah. If we can listen just a second. Yep, you, you, can, mm -hmm. you can hear the bottom check, pull, and the top one release. And it releases. Bottom pull and top uh -huh. one release. And so it's, it's, it sounds like it's really working good. We're not hearing any metal to metal abrasion. Mm -hmm. right. and, uh, and if you'll allow me to come right back over here, something I like to do also when it's really pumping good, not necessarily get a drink, which that water's good to drink. There's no particles in that. No, that's that's clean. There's, that's there's no brass, metal. Uh, there's times that you can take that water and you can just rub, just feel with your hand right there. Uh, and and you, you can go ahead and try it and see what I'm talking about. But if you feel any kind of abrasion, rough, uh, any type of medical, metal or, or uh, brass, a uh, little bit of burrs, I guess, is what I'm trying to think of. Sure. Uh, that that are staining you know your skin. That the, uh, Let's shut this windmill off. We know we yeah. got, a problem. got a problem. And so, yeah, just a few little tidbits that, that I've had to learn in the past that kind of helps you know, you know, what to do and what not to do. Okay, yeah, you can really hear that, that ball and check working right there. I think Barry! it's gonna work. Barry! What? Where you at? I'm up here. Man, we talked about not getting up on the windmill. You said not use the ladder. No, well, you, oh. But oh, I think I can God. reach it. How if, did you get up there? If I stretch, I, I wouldn't even it. touch. Man, what on earth? Barry. You're taking a piece of history with you. The windmill's falling apart, Barry. I think you're going with it. If yeah. I just get over. I, I don't think that's a good idea at all. That broke, that just broke, did you? Yes. There's splinters and stuff too. Is there a way down? There's like a metal handle here. Can I hang onto I, that and swing down? Say, no, I would say let go and you'll probably get down. Just let go? Hey, can down? I drop onto this horse? Yeah, I think that. I've would seen that in the movies. Exactly. You know what that's I what do. real cowboys do. Yeah. Well, I don't know that uh, <laughs> you're quite ready for that. <laughs> what the cowboys do? Well, do you feel like you've learned anything about a windmill? I've learned a lot about a windmill. Um, basically, you have to know how it works. Basically, Correct. it's it's when that fan is turning, when the blades are turning, it's 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 a pump. It's pulling water up from below the earth. Exactly. And it's using mechanisms, uh, some valves. and Check valves. Check, check valves Correct. and the ball, the check ball. Um, you're listening for a sound. Correct. When it's drawing water, 
you're listening for that sound. You hear that ball and sound. Yeah. The ball rattling a little bit. That means it's it's pulling water up and yeah. functioning well right there. Correct. And then it releases. Yeah. Uh, you want to check the flow to make sure you're getting flow. Yeah. Um, it has leathers, which are um, That's correct. like gaskets, like rubber gaskets, exactly. but they're made out of leather. Yes. Those have to be maintained periodically. Correct. Depending on how much wear and tear is yeah. it's going on, how much yeah. wind you've got. And if there is a problem, um, another way to check is to yep. take a sample of your water Correct. and feel for uh, debris, shards, little shavings of metal, which means yep. you've got check valves that are rubbing brass on brass, correct. and that's bad. That's right. That is correct. And is if it. you have a lot of water left over, you can have a swimming pool. There you go. You can get in there and, and wash it off. That'll work. I think it'll work. Windmills. And you don't necessarily want to climb this one right now. Not right now. Not till the ladder's fixed. Yes. True. I would say. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> oh, you know what I didn't do? <laughs> Camera hog. <laughs> 